Yo YouTube, how y'all doing? Your boy Techmo here again, back with another video. And you already know what time it is. We got new variants, we got new customization options, over 600 new things in the game. So you already know Big Mo is gonna open some supply drops. It's like gambling. You never know what you're gonna get if you don't try. And when these new things drop, it's like Pookie. They just call me. The supply drops just call me and I have to open up at least a couple. So my first supply drop I open, I get an epic weapon. And you guys know that is very rare. Usually I have to open up five, six, seven, maybe 10 to 12 before I get something epic. And usually I get something that I'll never use. And in this case, I do get a light machine gun. And you guys know I don't really use them that often. But, I mean, it's a decent one. You got the Titan Scout. And that's a pretty decent gun. I picked it up a couple times running around on maps. And every time I used it, it seemed to be a pretty decent gun. So, I'm not mad at that. Here we get another epic calling card. I mean, it looks okay. It's decent. You know, I'm not too thrilled about that. And here we get the Golden Dragon Sniper Camouflage. I wish I could have gotten that on the Assault Rifle class, but that's okay. I have more packs open, so who knows what we'll get. This one didn't really have anything. Got the MV4 Vigilance. I already had that. And that's a good gun, but like I said, I already had it, so I just got some salvage points. And on here, I get some more salvage get a rare assassin calling card nothing major nothing too exciting but i'm gonna keep opening them up seeing what i can get and on this one i get another golden dragon but this time i get the camouflage for the light machine gun so again that's legendary i'll take it uh if i do use a light machine gun i'll probably throw that on because it does look pretty nice and here i don't get anything significant I get a couple duplicates, so I get a little salvage there. Not much, 15 combined, because one was a rare and one was a common. And here I get a blood work striker body, which is rare. So that's cool. That wasn't a duplicate. I didn't have that. So it seems like it's a little harder to get body stuff. I've gotten a lot of different taunts and gestures, but I really don't get that many bodies or head um, customization. So I don't know if the odds on those are a lot less or what but doesn't seem like i get a lot of customization in that department but again nothing too major on that one two commons and one rare calling card nothing really that i was looking for and here i get the dcma even kill and that's one of the new variants that give you the extra 15 percent xp per kill so it's a common but still you get the extra xp on that and as you can see there, I got the Type 2 Enforcer, which is one of the new variants. And on this one, you get Gambler, which gives you um, a random perk for every three kill streak, and Sharpshooter, which increases your damage range. So that's a decent one. I'll take that. And the camouflage on this really looks nice as well. As you can see there, it's a moving camouflage that comes on it. And it's that purple looking. So it's really nice looking. And in certain light, it really shines and looks pretty cool. So I'm going to just play with it here for a little bit. Give you guys a little gameplay so you can see how it looks in action. And I don't really like the Type 2 at all. But I wanted to try it out since it has this nice camouflage on it. And since it's one of the new variants, I just want to show you guys a little bit of gameplay with it. But all in all, I mean, the update that happened, we still didn't get a lot of the stuff that we were looking for. Still no leaderboards, still no emblem creator. And a lot of people in the COD community are upset about how Infinity Ward handled this situation with the glitch. And I mean, I understand why a lot of people are upset because some people worked the hard to get the salvage and spent money to get the salvage to get those weapons. And, you know, the fact is that some people exploited a glitch in the system and got a crazy amount of salvage and bought all these weapons and unlocked all this stuff and they're going to ultimately get to keep the stuff. You know, they're going to lose whatever salvage that they didn't use and keys, but if they already bought the stuff, who cares? You know what I mean? They'll have to grind to get new salvage, but if they've unlocked all these epic and legendary weapons beforehand, I mean, they're really not losing out on anything. But, I mean, I really don't care. Personally, I think it would have been more fitting if they would have 
reset people to what they had before they did the glitch. I mean, rather than not penalizing them at all, essentially is what it's coming down to because, I mean, like I said, the only thing that they're losing is the keys and the salvage that they incur. Whatever they unlock, they get to keep. So, I mean, who cares? Glitchers always find a way to cheat the system. That's just, I mean, it's nothing new. That happens with almost every game out there and they exploited something in the system. I mean, it was put in there by Infinity Ward and they exploited it. Yeah, it's unfair and a lot of people are gonna be upset by it. I do think that Infinity Ward could have handled it a little bit differently to minimize the amount of upset people um, that did not do the glitch, but the fact of the matter is they knew that if they would have reset everybody that did the glitch, a portion of those people would have never played the game again. The game is already struggling, guys. I know if you play it, most of the time you hop in a lobby, it's not full. You know what I mean? Most of the time I hop in a game and I have either three people on my team or four people on my team. Rarely do I hop in a game and it's both teams are full so it's obvious that the game is struggling i mean we've heard that the sales are nowhere near what they've been in the past for other call of duty so this was clearly a business decision that they made and i understand it you know like i said i don't really care that much either way i don't do glitches because i know for a fact that if i get banned that's just it for me you know what i mean i'm not creating another uh, account I'm not doing any other Xbox Live. I'm not paying for any more Call of Duty. I'm just gonna be banned and that's just gonna be it because I deserve it. And I can live without this game. I play it because I can, but if I get banned, this shit is over with. But until next time guys, Tecmo out. I hope you guys have a great day.